Hi folks, Vintage Don here in Vintage Donville with Chuffy. I've got the bride out here today. She's going to be doing some video recording for us so we can capture this historic moment. Um, this is Chuffy that you've been watching me work on, on and off. Yeah, I came here a year ago, really maybe six months of work. Uh, one big thing, of course, was un izing everything. We had to do these floors over, just the bottoms of them. They weren't horrible. They weren't as bad as old Willa Dean, but they had to be made right. Uh, most recently, you watched me make this dash be green. It was black. The front half up here looked pretty much like the back half that I haven't worked on yet. That, that's coming in phase two. Uh, but the floors are done and all the controls and everything. We've got new repop seat frames, um, a new gas tank installed, which now as of today has gasoline in it. We've got all these new gauges in place. I spent a day on that parking brake. That was brutal. There's a lot of pieces to that rascal. Uh, of course, had to make the windshield green. It was a wrong color. But the real work, besides a whole bunch of body work, just kind of superficial body work, really. Truffy was not a real rusty vehicle, having lived in Texas, um, but we did have this, let's call it a quarter panel, completely rotted out down here. Um, so that's, that's a big foot and a half by maybe four or five inch uh, replacement of steel there. And getting a spare tire mounted back up correctly. So Truffy's starting to look Oh, we had to make these steps or, or front fender extensions also. These were completely rotted away on both sides. That was a lot of fun. But the worst of it was under the engine, under the hood rather, the engine bay. Um, we now have everything pretty much squared away as it was born. First thing was a radiator. We had a, a aftermarket aluminum uh, crappy radiator in place there, which came out. Poor Chuffy had been converted over to 12 volts, so now proudly sporting a six volt battery, a rebuilt generator, a rebuilt starter, completely rewired the vehicle um, to carry that six volts. We do have a keyed coil, which will go up under the dash, but just for starting purposes, I've got the the six volt coil on the block to make sure everything works instead of adding another unknown. Um, carburetor was a Solex, that's long gone of course. Just the usual stuff, piecing together the parts to put a correct early 46 horn together on here. Lots and lots and lots of holes that had to be filled that shouldn't have been there. Getting a radiator record, getting that installed. Even just this so-called horsehair, this felt with these staples, that was most of yesterday. And everything is, uh, is together, and I decided to go this time, take the path of completely building everything out. I, I did not rebuild the engine itself. It has not been open. Had the head off. Of course, the carburetors rebuilt, the, the fuel pump, the generator, the starter. Everything that will unbolt from the engine has been done and freshly tuned up, of course. Um, my thought being, if I make every single thing as right as I know how to make it and properly adjusted, just build up layer of layer of that, and, and then today will eventually come, and it should just simply start right up, right? So let's find out if that's real. It, it is cold, I'm not cheating, it has not run. Here's the exhaust manifold, obviously cold. And we have the bride over here leaning on the Chevy somewhere. Um, she's going to film this wondrous moment. Then I'm going to hand off the phone slash video camera to her. There's Willa Dean over there watching all this. So here you go. And let's just see what happens. We have uh, everything's ready. There's gas in the tank. There's water in the radiator. Um, turn the key on, and the gas gauge says there's a little gas, a little bit of choke, pump the throttle, and we'll hit the starter and see what happens. 
Call that a win. Vintage Don out. 